Good evening. I'd like to call the Zoning Board of Appeals for Tuesday, October 5th, 2021 to order. Uh, will this city call the roll, please? Uh, I'm here, but I think you might be on mute. Uh, Ms. Defoe. Thank you. I'm here. Ms. Selesny. Ms. Selesny. She's on mute too. Mr. Friedman. Here. Mr. Rogers. Here. Here. Mr. Weigum. Uh, could you guys give me just a minute because Mr. Wagon is calling me on the other line. So oh, sure. let me try to help him get into the meeting. One second. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Lesney, could you get off mute? She said, I'm trying. <laughs> Do you hear me now? Oh, now we hear you. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. I don't know. I'm right here. Right here. Mr. Wagon might be here multiple times. I think that's Mr. Wygum. <laughs> um, I'm gonna unmute him and hopefully that echo stops. Mr. Wygum, can you hear me? Nope, he's calling me again. One second, everyone. The City of Southfield offers the convenience of a central location with a wide variety of affordable housing options, outstanding city services, and great schools. Southfield is the perfect choice for you and your family, as well as businesses large or small. The City of Southfield makes life easy for our residents and businesses by rolling out the red carpet while cutting the red tape. Whether you're looking to buy a new home or start a business in Southfield, we're here to help. Come see today all that's happening in Southfield, the center of it all. Thank you for holding. We'll be with you as soon as possible. The city of Southfield launched the upgraded Southfield Solutions platform that allows residents to directly report quality of life issues and request city services all from the convenience of their smartphone, tablet, or computer. The Southfield Solutions tool allows citizens to report quality of life issues and concerns directly to the city. With the free mobile app and web tools, residents and businesses can now provide city staff with pictures, descriptions, and locations to report and track issues with ease. The Southfield Solutions mobile app is available for free download on Android and iPhones. Residents can also report issues directly from the City of Southfield website at cityofsouthfield.com. Did you know that the City of Southfield offers a convenient and cost-effective way to... Thank you for waiting, everyone. Mr. Wygum is calling in now. Mr. Wygum, is that you? No, this no? is Michael. No. I, oh. This is Michael Baum talking, and I'm Hi, trying Michael. to get in. 
Yeah, I'm trying to get in on the computer. I can't. I've joined by phone so far. Phone is no problem. All right. Uh, I'm just going to mute this. I'm going to. That would be great. Thank you. Brianna, do you see him connecting? Otherwise, I think we should move ahead. No, he's not in. Um, when he shows up, I'll just unmute him. That way you guys know he's here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, the city roll is uh, completed, showing four out of our five members in attendance with the fifth attempting to join. Uh, so next, are there any communications? Yes. Uh, the communications are that the uh, phone number for public comment is 1-415-655-0001. Use the access code 2343-287-5267. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we will now move into our public hearings. Uh, for those of you who haven't joined us before, uh, let me just briefly explain how we conduct business. Uh, the city will call each case uh, using the case number and reading a brief description of the case. Then we ask the appellant to speak up and state your name and address for the record, please. And then explain to the board what you're asking for and why. Uh, then the city will read uh, findings of fact we ask you to agree with those or add any other uh, facts at that time. Um, then the city will read a recommendation to us and then we'll open it to public comment. So if there's anyone on the line who wishes to speak uh, during public comment, you would get that opportunity uh, at that time during that uh, hearing of that case. And then uh, we'll turn it over to the board to deliberate and make a decision. So uh, will the city call the first case, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, case. 21-22, the appellant, Michael E. Baum, representing the property owner, Mikva Israel Incorporated, is requesting the following from the board. A waiver of 1% of lot coverage, 25% allowed, 26% proposed, and a waiver to increase the existing non-conforming rear yard setback. The property is located on the west side of Pierce Street between Jeanette Street and Hilton Street at 25117 Pierce. Sidwell parcel number 2424378046. It's zoned R2 single family residential. The appeal is to the sections 5.193 article 22 chapter 45 of the Southfield City Code more commonly known as the zoning ordinance and article 5 subsection 5 City of Southfield Zoning Board of Appeals Rules of Procedures. Thank you. Um Mr. Baum, could you unmute for us, please, and introduce yourself and give us your address for the record. <coughs> Mr. Baum, are you still on the line? Hi, Jody, it's Brianna. We yes. have lost Mr. Baum as well. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> um, I have his, I don't have his phone number. Uh, Ms. Halesny, would you be able to give me his phone number from uh, the case file? And I'm going to call him and put him on speaker. Okay, let me just check and see what I can find. Oh, he's, I think he's back. Um, I got the. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Baum. Yeah. Uh, if you could just please state your name and address for the record. M my name is Michael E. Baum. The property address um, is on um, at 25117 Pierce, Southfield. Thank you. Thank you. And could you just uh, explain to the committee what you're asking for and why? Okay. We are asking to be able to make an extension. I believe it is only a very small percentage more than the allotment in order for us to make the construction that I think we brought to the attention of this committee over a year ago. Um, unfortunately, and I apologize, we were unable to identify a contractor during this COVID period. 
um, that would have been able to start the construction right away. Thankfully, I can tell you that we have located a um, and identified a, a contractor who has actually picked up um, the um, um, the license. What is it called? The the permit to be able to commence construction. And Mr. Canner is on the phone here as well, and uh, he can probably address any questions concerning the construction. Okay, thank you. Mr. Canner, do you have anything you'd like to add at this point? Uh, not at this point. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, let's uh, have the city read the findings of fact then, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the appellant Michael E. Baum, representing the owner Mike McVis, uh, Israel Incorporated, is requesting the following waiver from the board a waiver of 1% of lot coverage, 25% allowed, 26% proposed. A waiver to increase the existing conforming rear yard setback, 35 feet minimum allowed, 20, 27 feet proposed. Note, this is a change from the legal notice. Uh, with the attached garage, 25 feet minimum required, 27 feet existing makes it a conforming setback without an attached garage, 35 feet minimum required, 27 feet proposed. The property is located on the east side of Pierce Street between Hilton and Jeanette Streets at 25117 Pierce, Sidwell parcel number 2424-378-046, zoned R2, single family residential. The property to the north, south, east, and west are zoned R2, single family residential, and are developed with single family dwellings in the Southfield Village Estates and Mannington subdivision. Field inspections of the surrounding area revealed that mostly single family ranch style dwellings, the exteriors are made of brick, various siding uh, on additions. Um, dwellings in the area have mostly detached garages with a few properties not having the garages at all. Neighboring properties to the north have a wood privacy fence in the rear to help create a screening. The rear yard of the subject property abuts the side yard of a single family dwelling along Hilton. The neighboring property sits on the west side of the subject property and has a deep side, a deep side yard, which will help maintain open space. The lot coverage of surrounding properties ranges from in anywhere from 18 to 25%. The subject home was built in 1960 and is uh, 1,271 square feet in area constructed with brick exterior. The site currently uh, non-conforming due to lack of front yard setback, 40 feet required, 31 feet. Uh, existing lack of side yard setback to the north, eight feet required, seven feet existing. Lack of side yard corner lot uh, setback, 25 feet required, 22 feet existing. Lot coverage of the existing dwelling is, the, is uh, at the current requirement of 25%. The subject property has an existing patio in the proposed location and large satellite dish located in the rear yard. The appellant proposes to construct a 250 square foot addition to the rear of the home on the northwest side of the dwelling, the addition will be constructed of facade material to match the existing home. That concludes my report. Thank you. Uh, does the appellant uh, agree with those facts? And is there anything else you'd like to add at this time? Um, I, I, I think I do agree with it. I'm not a builder, so I can't say for sure that I understand it. Um, however, um, I will say that we are, it is our intention to remove that satellite dish. Great. Thank you. Um, anything else you'd like to add, Mr. Penner? No. Okay. Thank you. All right. Will the city read the staff recommendation, please? Yes, ma'am. Staff recommendation is favorable consideration of the following waiver for 25% of required lot coverage, 25% allowed, 26% proposed to construct a 250 square foot addition. To reduce the uh, rear yard setback, eight feet, 35 minimum required, 27 feet proposed. We propose that with the following conditions. The addition be constructed of facade material to match the existing home, existing ground satellite dish to be removed. The rec this recommendation is based on the following. The appellant's addition is not extending any more than the existing dwelling side and rear yard setbacks. The lot coverage waiver is minor in nature and close uh, to lot coverage for surrounding properties. Great, thank you. Um, Mr. Baum, is there anything else you'd like to add or we can open public comment? No, I think, thank you very much. And as I said, we are, we, it is our intention to remove that uh, 
with that dish, that satellite, whatever it is. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, Brianna, do we have anybody on the line for public comment? No, we don't. Okay, so I will close public comment and turn it over to the board. Uh, Mr. Friedman? I don't have any issues with, with this waiver. Um, I, I, would, uh, I would approve it. Okay, thank you. Ms. Selesny? Um, let me see. Am I on? We hear you. Oh, okay. Um, I have no way, uh, no uh, problems with this. I agree with all the findings of the city, and uh, it's very minimal uh, changes, and I approve of it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Rogers? Um, I agree. I don't see anything wrong with these two uh, waivers being given. Um, I would approve this. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brianna, did we get Mr. Wegum on the phone? No, we haven't. I just spoke to him, but I it was bad reception, so I couldn't even hear him. Okay, um, so I would say I also think this is a very minor request and am happy to support as, as we did a year or so ago. So, um, Mr. Friedman, would you make a motion for us? Oh, I think you're on mute. Sure, I could do that. Just to clarify, um, are, are, we, are we dropping the second portion of the waiver since it's not actually, uh, no waiver is necessary for, for that? Madam Chair, if I may. Please. Um, with, in, the, in the process of remodeling this house, they're increasing because they're eliminating the attached garage um, and remodeling into some other type of space. Uh, the, the setback requirement goes to 35 feet. Uh, they only have 27, so they're asking for that waiver also. Okay. Okay, uh, the, the appellant, uh, Michael, ba Michael E. Baum, representing Mikva Israel, is requesting the following waiver of the board, a waiver of 1% lot coverage, 25% allowed, 26 percent proposed, and a waiver to increase the existing conforming rear yard setback, 35 feet minimum allowed, 27 feet proposed. Um, uh, the property is located on the east side of Pierce Street between Hilton and Jeanette Streets at 25177 Pierce. Sidwell parcel 2424378046, zone R2 single family residential. Um, uh, I move that we uh, approve the two waivers for the additional lot coverage and the, to reduce the rear yard setback um, with the following conditions that the uh, addition be constructed of facade material that matches the existing home um, and that the uh, existing ground satellite dish be removed and this recommendation is based on the following that the the appellant's uh, addition is not extending any more than the existing dwelling side and rear yard setbacks and the lot coverage wager is minor and cl close to lot coverage for the surrounding properties thank you um can i have I'll, a second i'll second it thank you uh will the city call the roll please yes ma'am mr foe yes Ms. selesny yes Mr. Friedman? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Weigum? This is Brianna standing in for Mr. Weigum. I just got off the phone with him and he said he would approve both cases. Okay, thank you. Um, we will consider this a vote of four to zero of the members that are present um, at this uh, meeting. So uh, your request is approved. Please work with the city um, and the building department to get your permit so that you can get your project completed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I take it I can, I can leave this call now? You sure can. Thank you. All right. Thank you all and have a pleasant night. You too. All right, will the city call the next case, please? Yes, ma'am. The uh, next case, case 21-23, the appellant, Intercity Neon, signed contractor representing the owner, RPT Realty Incorporated, is requesting the following from the board, a variance to add a third 28-square-foot wall sign, 60.66 square feet allowed, 84 square feet proposed. The property is located on the east side of Telegraph Road uh, between M10 Expressway and 12 Mile Road at 28620-28620 Telegraph Road, also known as 28550 Telegraph Road, uh, part of Sidwell Parcel 2417-226012 zoned RS Regional Shopping. 
the appeal is to sections uh, 8.63, subsection 1, subsections A and B, Article 13, Chapter 99 of the Southfield Code, more commonly known as the sign ordinance. Great, thank you. Um, is the appellant here? Yes. Hi there. If you could state your name and address for the record, please. I'm Donna Holke with Inner City Neon. My address is 23920 Amber, Warren, Michigan, 48089. Okay, thank you. Um, and could you explain to us what you're asking for and why, please? Sure. So we have approval for two signs for Lens Crafter. Um, where both are where they have existing signage. They're in the process of remodeling. And they want to add a third sign at the opposite end of the building on Telegraph Road. Um, they've got a hundred foot there of building. So they the one that we're asking for through the variance is closest to the drive that goes back to the center. So they feel that they need that sign there as well as the one on the left is the one closest to their entrance as well on that corner. So for this big building, it's not a lot of signage. They're the only ones that are ha that have signs on that wall there. Okay, thank you. Uh, will the city read the findings of fact, please? Yes, ma'am. The appellant, inner city neon sign contract under the owner, RPT Realty Incorporated, is requesting the following from the board a variance to add a third 28 square foot wall sign, 60.66 square feet allowed, 84 square feet proposed. The property is located on the east side of Telegraph Road uh, between the M10 Expressway and 12 Mile Road at 28620 Telegraph Road, also known as 28550 Telegraph Road, part of Sidwell Parcel 2417 226012, zoned RS Regional Shopping. The appeal is in section 8.631, subsection A and B, Article 13, Chapter 99, Southfield City Code, more commonly known as sign ordinance. To the north of the property is zoned uh, RS, Regional Shopping District, and is occupied by Lowe's and Meyer. To the east of the property is zoned RE, occupied by Franklin River Apartment Complex. To the south, the property is zoned RS, Regional Shopping District, is occupied by Southfield Chrysler Jeep. To the west across Telegraph, the property is zoned B3, General Business District, and developed with five-story office building at fast food restaurant and new and used auto dealership. The uh, subject property is zoned RS, Regional Shopping District, and is currently occupied by Lens Crafters. The site has one entrance and exit along the Telegraph Road frontage uh, and one exit on the northwestern highway service drive frontage. A survey, of, a survey of signage at the site reveals the following signs. 11 conforming tenant wall signs for uh, Chipotle, T-Mobile, uh, B-Nails, Great Expressions Dental, Lens Crafters, Michaels, Ultra Beauty, Best Buy, Faux Chopsticks, Great Expressions Orthodontics, and GNC. And there's one 45 foot tall, 620 square foot non-conforming legal ground sign as per ZBA 85100. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you agree with those facts? Yes. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add at this time? No, not at this time. Okay, thank you. Uh, will the city read the staff recommendation, please? Yes, ma'am. Staff recommendation, favorable consideration to approve the additional 22.34 square feet of sign area 60.66 square feet allowed 84 square feet proposed as requested with the following conditions that the appellant secure the required permits and inspections from the uh, city of Southfield building department. This recommendation is based on the following that the proposed sign is consistent with the spirit and intent of this sign ordinance and the proposed menu. I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. Thank Great. You. Thank you very much. Um, Okay, so let's see, is there anyone on the line for public comment? No, we don't have anyone. Okay, um, so then let's turn it over to the board. Um, Ms. Selesny? Um, I agree with the findings of the city and I agree that this is a very minimal amount of, of extra signage and uh, it won't be noticed as extra when it's uh, finally put up on the walls and I approve. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rogers. Um, I don't have a problem with adding another Lenscrafter um, sign 
on the Telegraph Road sign side of the uh, building. Um, I assume that uh, they're, they're not they're not remodeling the uh, the canopy or anything like that. They're just adding a, a, another sign on the opposite side. But other than that, um, you know, the visibility over there is everything because you're driving so quickly. And um, I think that's very important. And keeping in with the uh, with what's there now, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Friedman. I have uh, no issues with this waiver. Um, you know, it's it's reasonable, and in keeping with the uh, with with the, the, all the uh, different signs that they have uh, in that in that parking lot generally. Okay, thank you. Um, I also agree with the findings of fact and the city's recommendation. I think. Uh, Ms. Mr. Rogers hit the nail on the head, which is the speed of traffic and the volume of traffic around that area really deems uh, signage, you know, vitally important for any business um, over there. So uh, let's see, Mr. Rogers, will you make the motion for us? Yes. Uh, in the matter of ZB case 21-23, Pellant Inner City Neon sign contractor representing the owner RPT Realty Incorporated is requesting the following from the board, a variance to add a third 28 square foot wall sign, 60.66 square feet allowed, 84 square feet proposed. Properties located on the east side of Telegraph Road between M10 Expressway and 12 Mile Road at 28620 Telegraph Road, also known as 28550 Telegraph Road. Um, I make a motion to um, approve this waiver, um, this additional 22.34 square feet of sign area. Um, based on um, in that the appellant secures all required permits and inspections from the city of the South of Southfield building department. Um, I'm basing this um, approval on the fact that the proposed sign is, is consistent with the spirit and intent of the sign ordinance. Great, thank you. Um, can I have a second, please? I'll second it. Thank you, will the city call the roll? Mr. Foe? Yes. Ms. Selesny? Yes. Mr. Friedman? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Weigum? He's still not with us. Okay. All right. So uh, your motion carries four to zero uh, with the members that are present on the meeting. And uh, again, as per the condition of the approval, please work with the city to get your approvals and, and everything to move forward. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so next on the agenda, um, we don't have any minutes at this time. So our next meeting, October 19th, um, who would like to discuss the cases? Well, Wayne. one's a signed case, one's a residential case. Um, I haven't reviewed them yet. Okay. So I, I can't speak on them. Okay. Um, I have you them right here on my desk. Turn. Brianna just brought them to me today. So we'll take a look at them and, and see if we can't uh, put together a, a recommendation. Okay. And those are the only two that we'll have for that meeting. Okay. Correct. Sounds good. Uh, anybody have any questions or anything else? All right. Um, miscellaneous looks like uh, there's a there's a question on the table about our uh, board members availability for the November 2nd meeting because it's a municipal election night. Um, I think myself and Ms. Selesny both replied to Brianna's email that we were available. Um, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Friedman, are you available on November 2nd to hold a virtual meeting? I am. Yeah, I'm available as well. Okay, thank you. So Brianna, I think that will be fine. Um, anybody else have any other miscellaneous? Okay, then I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Good evening.